All right, some very special showings at Charlotte's Independent Picture House this weekend. Matt Lynn with Charlotte is Creative is here this morning, along with Ronnie Singh, head of the Harry Smith Archives. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning. Kristen. Um, this is a really special get yeah. for Charlotte. Tell me a little bit about this special yeah, showing in particular. Kind of a cultural coup for yeah. film in Charlotte, a collaboration between the Mint Museum, the Independent Picture House, and Goodyear Arts. And it's a celebration of some newly restored works of Harry Smith, sort of the underground film legend, who, big influence on American film, but a lot of people don't know about him. And of course, as you said, Ronnie Singh here is the director of the Harry Smith Archives. So who better to be in Charlotte from Santa Monica to introduce the films throughout the weekend? Yeah, I, wanna, I want you to give us all an education, Ronnie, because even I, I, pronoun I mispronounced the name of the movie. It's called Mahogony, not Mahogany. And so that speaks to, I don't know really much about Harry Smith, and I bet a lot of people out in our audience don't either. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, and that's not unusual, yeah. Kristen. Harry Smith was a influential but underground figure, and he worked primarily in music and in film, and those worlds were usually a very separate. Um, his most influential set of records was the anthology of American folk music, mm. and when that came out, it really triggered the whole folk music boom with Bob Dylan and Peter, Paul, and Mary, and so that's a big uh, aspect of what he's most well known for. And how do you, what's your history with him? Mm. Well, I actually was his assistant before he passed away and then have been working on building up the Harry Smith archives over the years. When we talk about building up the Harry Smith archives, it has to be pretty prolific. Well, it's been, you know, in fits and starts, but yeah. it's been an amazing journey. And really, we are very proud because currently at the Whitney Museum in New York, there's a big exhibition of his work, which has been almost 30 years in the making. So these events at the Independent Picture House, we were talking this morning, and they were sold out. I mean, to give you an idea of how much interest there is in this, but you just told us some new uh, tickets have been released. Tell everybody what this experience will be like at this weekend at the Independent Picture House. Well, so Mahogany is really a, a non-narrative, experimental, avant-garde film. And for people who aren't used to going to those kind of films, really you just have to go with a very open mind and just let the images wash over you. Um, the soundtrack is the op Kurt Weill Bertolt Brecht opera, which is really an amazing amazing musical soundtrack, very dramatic, and so that really carries the film throughout the two and a half, almost two and a half hours film. Is it a storyline, even though it's not a narrative like we're used to? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> not really in the se sense that we're, you know, used to when we're going to commercial films. Right, no, no beginning, middle, and end in this one, <laughs> but a big, fabulous experience. Yeah, and it really is a portrait of New York City and the Chelsea Hotel and Harry Smith's world from the mid-1970s. We talk about, you, you said it's a coup to have this here in Charlotte. Wow, the Independent Picture House and these other collaborators. Yeah, and the fact that we have creative leaders in Charlotte like Jeff Jackson who really pulled together this sort of a get. Um, and Charlotte every day is showing that it holds its own as a great creative American city. The fact that we're having this sort of a thing that, that Charlotteans can come experience, um, there aren't many cities that are able to offer that up. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, when they reached out to you to come, were you, were you like, Charlotte? Well, I, I, it was a beat of that, but also I think it's fabulous that you have organizations like Goodyear Arts, Independent Picture House, Mint Museum, all coming together, working collaboratively to present something like this. Great, it's a great thing for the city. Well, as we said, a few more tickets have opened up and released, so you can go get them. So let's put all the information up on your screen so that you can check out everything that they have going, of course, at the Independent Picture House. But of course, to learn more about the Harry Smith Archives, you can see the website there, the Instagram, and they are on X as well. And of course, every time we have the folks from Charlotte is Creative on, we encourage you to give them a follow as well. They're doing big things in our city. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Kristen. We yeah. appreciate it. it.